this might be a little bit controversial but watch this video till the end to understand my point and then come to final conclusion i used to watch different videos and keep jumping from one thing to something else someday i used to get motivated and start doing competitive coding because some youtuber told me to do that and some other day i used to try learning multiple things together and give up i remember i divided my day something like this in the morning i will do data science courses in the afternoon i will do some android development course and in the evening i will do competitive coding this is me trying to focus on multiple things so that i make the right choice in the end i made so many mistakes and you might be making these mistakes too we keep trying multiple things because we want the best option and i will tell you how i fixed this problem and focused on one thing if you don't know me and if you are seeing this channel for the first time then welcome to my channel my name is tarshil and i'm a freelance data engineer i've been working in this field for last 3 to 4 years on this channel i make videos on data engineering freelance and productivity i started my career as a web developer i used to work on different technologies such as html css javascript and i worked as a web developer for 2 to 3 years i wanted some change in my life and wanted to switch my career and i saw this big hype around data science everyone was talking about data science and it became the sexiest job of 21st century and i also decided to become a data scientist i didn't know what data science was and i didn't really want to become a data scientist but i thought having a data scientist on my profile will look cool and also i did not have any other options so i decided to become a data scientist as i said i did not even know what data science was and i still decided to learn it let me tell you one thing if you don't have proper guidance then you will get lost while learning about data science data engineering or literally anything there are so many different things and tools to learn in data science and if you don't have proper guidance then you will get lost in this process just like most of the people i started listing down different courses different books that i wanted to read in order to become a data scientist i created excel sheet and started listing down everything in there such as different courses that i wanted to do from different websites all the books that i wanted to read different blog links videos and many more and for the 6 months i started focusing on learning data science i started doing courses after courses watched a lot of videos read so many different books to learn data science i understood many different things such as how to work with data how to read data clean that data understand the data science process and many more things i spent around 6 months to learn everything i could learn about data science did a lot of courses watched different videos books and many more things but then i realized i got stuck in course or certification loop now if you don't know about the certification or course loop it basically means you keep doing courses after courses but never really take action to apply the knowledge you learn from the courses in real world now if you want to know more about this particular thing then you can click on link over here and watch this particular video so after i realized that i was stuck in course or certification loop then i started doing projects on my own i went to google.com and started doing projects over there and i also did some of my own projects and started building my resume for that and after having two to three good projects on my resume i started applying for the internship online and i was lucky i found my first internship as data science intern where i was working on some text data so when you go to stack overflow you see the tags attached to different questions so in my internship my job was to take technical books generate the question from that technical book and attach the tag to that particular question i really like working on that particular problem and i learned a lot of things after that i started applying for more and more internship and i found one more internship in mid size consulting firm here my first project was data science and machine learning based project where i was working with e-commerce client to figure out why sellers were not shipping the product on time and why products were not getting delivered where all the things that i learned from the courses came to use i learned about feature engineering how to clean the data how to query the data to build the final model train the machine learning model on the scale how to test validate and deploy the model build the dashboard for visualization and tracking and many more things as i was working on a startup companies i did not really have a choice but to work on the whatever projects i got and i started getting more projects related to data engineering than data science my first data engineering project was on aws where client had some real time data coming from sensors and my job was to build a real time streaming pipeline using aws kinesis and build the final visualization and this particular project blew my mind all of these years i used to see different apps such as google maps or uber and wonder how these apps display this information in real time and this is where i learned about streaming services and how real time streaming works in real world after that i started getting more data engineering related projects such as building data lakes and data warehouses writing etl job where client had some data in one source my job was to read that data process that data and put that data on some target sources i also did a lot of data migration projects where companies wanted to move from one data system to some other data system in this particular process i learned a lot of things i learned about how to work with big data how to process that understood how to work with cloud spark and many more things and honestly i started enjoying my work as a data engineer and this is what my entire journey looks like i started from the web developer moved to data science and ended up becoming a data engineer the reason i told you this entire story is because i wanted you 
guys to understand how I made my final decision to become a data engineer. Now let's answer the final question. Why did I choose data engineering over data science? Now before answering this particular question, I just want to tell you that these are all my personal opinion and interests. You might not agree with some of my points because you might have different goals, but I just want to share my side of the story and my point of view on it. Now the first reason is I enjoy engineering. Data science is all about using data to help companies to make final data driven decisions. The reason I left web development because I was mainly focusing on the technical side but never understood the business side. When I got into data science, I was mainly focusing on the business side and never really focused on the technical side of the things. And I wanted something that could give me both the things such as understand the business process but also help me to work with the latest technology. And I found data engineering because in the data engineering, you get to choose and work on the latest technology. Now to process that data, I need to understand the business requirement and process that data according to that and use the latest technologies to get the work done. Elon Musk is more of an engineer than a businessman. He spends a lot of time in Tesla factory with the engineers, understands the product and gets involved in the entire process but also understand the business side. Data engineering gave me the similar feeling when I was connected to the technology but also understood the business to grow my career. Second reason is data engineering is more fun than data science. I know this might be a little bit controversial but again it depends on the what are the different things that interest you. As a data scientist you don't get to see the results then and there. You will have to spend time looking at the data to find the answer but as a data engineer you will get to see the results quickly. When you get to see how data is moving from one source to another source, when you see real time data streaming in action, you see the result of your work front of you immediately and you get that dopamine hit. Another reason is as a data scientist you will spend a lot of time trying to find the value from the data. You will get the huge data and you will have to figure out what are the different things that are important by asking right questions and get the final answer. But data engineering is more about innovating new solution. Every data is different and you need to figure out different ways to process that particular data. Third reason is demand is increasing. As data is growing, so is the demand for the people who manage these data. This includes everyone from data analysts, data engineers and data scientists. But data engineers are the people who sit at the front when the data comes. They make sure that all the data that comes get processed and clean in proper format so that it makes life of a data scientist much easier. I ended up becoming a data engineer accidentally. I got the project related to data engineering and I started liking that particular work. If I had gotten the more work related to data science then I might have been a data scientist right now. But we will never know that because here I am. So in conclusion both the field data science and data engineering have the same demand and the same opportunities. It is up to you what interests you more and what type of work you like doing. Data scientist needs data engineer and vice versa. My goal from this particular video was to give you one side of the point of view from my experiences and my journey. Now you might have different opinions and if you don't agree with me then let me know in the comments. I will try to understand your opinion and we can both learn more from it. Again if you are watching this video till the end then make sure you hit the like button that will help my channel to grow and reach more and more people. Again if you are new here then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you want more of this video thank you for watching. See you in the next video.